first yudaki of the month. It is in fact the first yudaki that I ever saw uh, back in 1993. So I had just begun playing and I started in June 1993 playing didgeridoo on a vacuum cleaner tube and in a few months upgraded to an agave didgeridoo by Alan Shockley. And not long after I got that I met the first other didgeridoo player that I ever met. His name was Mike Lebien. Uh, wasn't a hotshot player, wasn't out there in the scene at all. He had only recently begun himself. He had one agave, one contemporary wood didgeridoo from Australia, and this that he called his yudaki, or he probably said yudaki. Um, but it was his one authentic instrument from Arnhem Land proud of having that. I believe he got it from In the Cash, circa 1991 or 92. And he didn't know too much about it. There was a tag of an artist's name that he just remembered was a Unipingo family artist. Um, he probably introduced me to the band Yopi Yindi as well, so looking on those on that CD, you see the Unipingo family, family name. So he knew it was associated with them in some way. But yeah, we didn't know too much else about it. It actually wasn't his favorite. He kind of preferred his more contemporary Australian wooden didgeridoo, but I like this one better. Um, I actually recorded it on one of my early albums, Whirlwind, uh, just doing spacey, droney contemporary stuff along with some ocean sounds that I recorded. You know, just, and it works great for that. It's a deep, warm, and harmonic C sharp, so I was feeling stuff like this. <laughs> from eventually lived there 2004 to 2009. Uh, early on in that time of living in Arnhem Land I thought about this Yudaki, the first Yudaki I ever saw and emailed Mike and said uh, do you still have the the tag for that? Can you find out who that artist actually was? And he did a little digging around and got back to me and said it was by Giacomo Yunipingo. Uh, and I had a quick laugh because that was my adopted sister in Yongo culture. So yeah, the first Yudaki I ever saw uh, in 1993 uh, was from the place that I ended up living uh, 11 years later and by my adopted sister. Um, for those of you who don't know Jiakangwo, she's you know, not famous in the Yudaki world of course, uh, but was the, uh, was the wife of Barikupa Kuruwiwi. So this is a characteristic Barikupa instrument um, that, um, yeah, they would have made together mini Yudaki over the years with designs like this with his Gaupu clan. Um, but for whatever reason, back in 1990, 91 or so, she made this one and was credited uh, as sole maker of it. And it's a very nice instrument, pretty typical Yudaki. You can kind of get that all in frame there. It's conical, but not super huge. There's our natural bottom there. And a wooden uh, natural mouthpiece. It's pretty dark, you can kind of see. Um, and it has a little bit of that classic flared shape going back. A little larger up to the mouthpiece. So it's just a good, very classic, pretty old school Yudaki here. Um, and 
yeah, it belonged to Mike, like I said. Um, he suddenly passed away a few years ago. He had um, an autoimmune condition and suddenly a rare form of leukemia came on. And um, in flying out to be part of the memorial and to, uh, and to play, I, I just asked his, his wife, can I have that? <laughs> and she graciously allowed me to figured he would have liked that. So I'm um, very, I love it. I'm very honored to have it. And just thought that would be a good way to start your Ducky of the month, the month to share this special one of my history with you all. Okay, so I'll, now I'll just, um, maybe there'll be some edits after this. I'll just do a little bit of playing so you can hear a little bit more of it. Um, while I play. Well, I'll, okay, I'll show you a little bit of sort of contemporary non yomo style stuff on it as well, since that's what I would have been doing when I first played on it. And then I'll do a little more traditional style stuff. But, let's see. <laughs> Arnhem Land. There you go. Thanks for watching.